Hello and welcome to Energy Medicine for Healthy Living. I'm Dr. Melanie and today I want to talk about highly sensitive people. I'm one of those people, you might be one of those people, and sometimes I think highly sensitive people get a bad label. But the truth is, it just means we are responding to external stimuli, and it's different for all of us. Now, if for me, as a primary sensory type of tonal, I have great difficulty in a lot of spaces where there's several conversations going, or there's conversations from, from maybe TVs on, people are talking, there's some other background noise. Um, it's too much, it's an overload for me. And that's really all it means is, Whatever's going on around us, it's an overload. Maybe it's an overload emotionally, like we just can't you know, handle one more emotion. It's just too much, whether it's watching something on TV, maybe it's you know, we've, we've gotten bad news or we've lost a loved one. It can just be an accumulation of things. And then there's a moment when it's just too much. We can't take it in. For me, another thing is, is walking through the perfume aisle in a department store. I just can't do it. It's too much overload for my system, and things start shutting down. So it can, it can come from lots of different ways. And I want to talk about how you can work your own energies. So whatever you're exposed to, whatever's around you, that you'll be able to handle it and reset, so to speak. So an easy place to start <coughs> is unzipping the midline. We're going to unzip the midline. It's the central meridian. We're just going to pull energies out because we've taken on so much and now there's, there's an overload and it's stagnant. So we're just pulling it out and unzipping. And now I'm going to zip up and lock it back in. So I'm resetting that energy. It's so easy to do. And out in my auric field, same thing. I'm going to pull energies out. Now I mentioned I'm a primary tonal. So pulling all that excessive stuff energy out from my ears is helpful. As a kinesthetic, we tend to take it in in our heart chakra. So let's pull some energy out and away from the heart chakra. If you're a primary visual, maybe you just get the overload is you're seeing so many different things and taking in so much. So same thing, just begin to pull some energies out and away from the, the eyes. As a digital person, we can just accumulate so much in our brain that it feels like it's going to explode. So begin to pull out and away from the brain, from the forehead, really clearing that digital space. Now, out through the aura, we're going to expand and push our aura out a little bit more away. And now we're going to come in with some figure eights. Crossing over energies, we can do it around the eyes, we can do it in four directions, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, I like to call that the lotus blossom. We can do it over each eye individually. Doesn't matter which direction you go, how many times you do it, but as a tonal, I'm gonna do those figure eights in the four directions over my ears just to weave that figure eight energy back in. And now I'm gonna do it over my heart chakra. So as a kinesthetic, I'm, I'm not so hypersensitive and vulnerable to emotions of what's happening in, in my surrounding, in my environment. So I'm just weaving, crossing, doing all, every direction. And don't worry about it if you say, oh, you're going too fast. Do it at your own pace. Spend your own time weaving these eights around. There's no right or wrong. So I'm going to weave them with both hands. I'm going to come up over my throat chakra. That's a place that I tend finding your voice. When we're highly sensitive, sometimes our voice shuts down. So keeping our voice strong, weaving figure eights over that brain, keeping our brain healthy and strong and resilient, weaving figure eights out in our auric field. This is our protector. This is our, our energetic bodysuit. It is our filter, our protector. So as a highly sensitive person, we want our filter to be strong. We want our filter to also be attached. So weaving those figure eights while you're touching the body keeps that filter actually attached and close. And then weaving them out at least the expanse of your arms width means that we've got a nice filter to help us through. 
Also, it, it's very possible that part of what's happening is stress or anxiety. So we can just come up to the forehead, hold our fingers on the forehead, take a couple of deep breaths. <sighs> now I'm going to come down to the front of the ear, <sighs> up and over the ear, and I'm going to smooth behind the ear down to my shoulders and squeeze. That's a triple warmer smoothie. We're calming our triple warmer meridian. I can hold one hand on my forehead, one hand behind. It's another way to really help reduce the stress and calm and relax. So many things we can do. The takeaway is a highly sensitive person has access to tools you can use anytime, anywhere, and work your own energies. I want you to feel strong and empowered and really embrace the tools, the sensitivities that you have are special and they're your special gifts. So embrace that, own it, and be well within.